Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is, you know where you at. <laughs> the Ups and Hills 48th World with our edition we like to call, Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 I can, can, and I will. Alright, this is unbelievable and it is scandalous and marvelous. Honey, my vis my visuals are a little blurry, but I just had to get it out there because Andy Cohen made a complete jackass out of himself. All right, for the ending of 2021 going into 2022. Okay, I don't know if he has some residue, unhappy, negative feelings. He was just trying to get out before the new year came in but homie went out with a blast because the first person he was trying to blast was ryan seacrest causing him the biggest loser yes he did yes he did y'all i'm sitting here <coughs> laying in my bed of course trying to find some stories to talk about to entertain you all and myself because y'all know i've been under the weather and you know Anderson Cooper don't take his friend Andy Cohen serious at all because if he did he would probably be a CNN correspondent as we speak and off this ratchet TV show thing he's trying to give us okay we all know Kathy Griffith she was good she was hosting a uh, new, new year's eve ball with anderson cooper and doing other things over there at cnn until she made that mistake of beheading our president trump okay when he was president okay but we're gonna move on from there and she got a lot of backlash from there and andy didn't too much care for after that as well but of course you know as good journalists you know, they're going to think about themselves and they're going to go get what the people want, which is somewhat the truth, which we know is fake news when it comes to any of our news stations on our television screens. OK, even Trump tried to tell us that at the time we didn't believe him, but I was listening, girl. I was listening. That's that programming news they give us to look at. But it just is what it is. Believe what you want. OK, but anyway, yes, I guess Cooper couldn't get nobody to sub in for him once again you know, he probably tried his boyfriend at the time now his husband his, his husband i ain't got no time for that shit I, I ain't got no time you go do what you gotta do you come on back home and we can celebrate and he got a nice looking husband Ooh, why would he have to be gay oh my goodness my gracious oh my lord kind of remind me of pat riley y'all know oh uh, i forgot what team he coached oh uh, shit when did the knicks I can't remember y'all, but that was a, ooh, he was a nice Italian looking man. And Anderson Cooper's husband gives me that tease all over again. All right. But, you know, Anderson Cooper is one of those staunch journalists. He goes for the juggler when he wants to find out news. He don't care how it makes a person look. He got to get to the meat and potatoes. And he got to put, report it accurately. Or how his uh, team CNN gets down. And, of course, you know, we had Como, Chris Como, you know trying to save his family and their asses and all like that he end up getting fired resigned however you want to see it and of course buddy boy wanted to go over there and take the reins and um anderson cooper said no 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 it's not your field this is top notch plush type stuff we don't get down into that ratchet tv program and you call news over there at the bravo uh station so we could be friends but hey i'll try to get done and here i do a little some some or we can get my other constituents but knowledge y'all we're going to pass you by on that one okay you know don lemon he's all about that life too um reporting the truth getting out to the truth but he had some little drinking habits going on too that they had to silence a little bit but that is the real party okay that's chris i believe that's don i don't know who the other fella is but of course you know he was strong on the cnn team where's wolf's blitzer these days i love myself some wolf okay he just looked like a little mountain man i can get with that i sure can but you know don lemon you know he was a wild card here and there i don't hear too much from him i guess he's still over there at cnn doesn't really matter but these are the gin and juices of cnn you see what i'm saying i mean that's wolf blitzer there you go there go my wolf Yes, these some real hard, staunch type journalists. They get to the news uh, so they think we can use it. But, you know, we think it's all propaganda. They just show us, tell us what they want or what the big people have said they want us to know. And then they just report it, regurgitate it to us, and we can do it whatever we want to do with it, okay? But it's supposed to be up and up, uh, straight, staunch, uh, 
credible news source. But anyway, going back to Mr. Andy Cohen, yep, he got too drunk as usual. I don't know if Andy's going through a midlife crisis. Yeah, it kind of made me think him and Nene go need to go off to an island by themselves and just hash things out and, and make their own little network or something. Get it from Bob or whatever. And then maybe throw some Carlos King up in now. Okay, we just need more level head playing fields. We don't need to see Nene out there. We just need her to be behind the executive seat doing what she need to do. We, you know, whatever. Because I'm getting to think that Andy ain't got no job, y'all. I'm getting into the thing, um, maybe hustler and hustle housewife was telling the truth about, uh, Andy maybe at war with Carlos King, because still, Carlos King is still young running around here. He was, you know, an EP over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta when he was here, uh, forming the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think Meredith Medicine, too. I can't remember. I don't want to go back too far. I made my head hurt. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, he had did a little special uh, saying something about they may be at war Andy Cohen and Carlos King because Carlos King stole or I wouldn't say stole I think he negotiated real well getting Monique Samuels over there on the own channel and trying to do some things over there and I'm like hey black white Creek or Asian Eskimo Native American I don't care if you got to get your money, get your money. Okay, I'm just saying do it ethically and, and responsibly because, you know, when you're going up that corporate ladder or going up those, you know, steps to up yonder, you know, it's bad when you have to fall back down and see all these folks you walked over. So be nice when you're going up and keep, you know, a good head, good level head playing field. So if you do have to fall back down, people will know, but now nah, they were nice to me. They, they did good for me. I'm going to try to, you know, help them out. You know what I'm saying? So, as you're going up, you can still come back down friendly and everybody's still patting you on the back. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you'll be coming back because you're retiring, not because they threw you down and you fell down from the throne and all that kind of stuff. Under some salacious stories that, you know, knocked you off your, your game. But anyway, uh, might do a story on it. Might let it marinate a little bit more. Not really sure. But Andy Cohen looked like a fool out in these streets, as usual. When he get drunk, have too much to drink, he goes in and he starts crying out his woes. And everybody know that when a person get drunk and they get in their feelings, shit start coming out their mouth. That's absolutely true. They may want to say, I didn't mean it. You know, I, I may have thought it, but I really didn't mean it. It just came out the wrong. Yeah, you did. You, you meant it. And some of the truth is... We know what we saying when we drunk. We just give ourselves a call that maybe they won't take it too, too hard. Or they'll think I'm drunk and they know what the hell I was talking about. But now that's a long-standing no, uh, piece of knowledge that when a person gets drunk, they get in their feelings, they really start telling you what they really feel about you and a situation. Just saying it so you'll know for future experiences. Okay. But yeah, honey, uh, U.S. Weekly brought us out. Or U.S. Magazine brought us out a definitely good story. Uh, the lady who wrote up the article was named Sarah uh, Heron, Heron, something like that. And she titled it, um, Andy Cohen Shades, Ryan Seacrest, New Year's Eve broadcast. Group of losers is what he's calling all the people that he's talking about. And that I'm showing pictures of in my... Um, video <laughs> i'm like whoa now my thoughts is if anderson cooper was such a good friend he would die like four five tires for andy cohen he wouldn't let andy cohen did all that shit he wouldn't let him talk about the former mayor mayor of new york blazio you know saying he glad he doing his uh, victory dance so he can get the hell out of him because he ain't do nothing but bad all four years he was up there then he talking about ryan seacrest you know his has been shows and the, the guests he's sponsoring they has been people all of them just losers i'm like did this have become the uh rocking the eve of um the downfall or the midlife crisis of andy cohen <laughs> Like, what the hell is going on? So glad I was in my bed entertaining myself with other things and not trying to look at anything on television unless it was a movie, you know, some, some kind of sitcom, but nothing with all of this symbolism and uh, propaganda and a narrative they're trying to get us to see on these, uh, these shows, you know, where they do a lot of rituals uh type of uh entertainment where it can definitely do more damage to you than you think depending on how you looking at it okay i'm just saying those who caught it caught it those who didn't keep researching okay but anyway uh going into the article it says not leaving the shade in 2021 andy cohen was unfiltered as always 
while hosting CNN New Year's Eve Live with Anderson Cooper on Friday, December 31st. Throwing shade at Dick Clark's New York New Year's Rockin' Eve. Now, you know Dick Clark going out this world. And he was a legacy. And he did give the entertainment when he was here. Now, Andy Cohen throw a salt on him and his name and what he tried to formulate as entertainment for us. For the New Year's coming up and the, the the New Year ball dropping and all that. That was sensational back in the 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. It kind of left its let. Let me. It kind of left its luster for me as I kept getting older, because either I'm gonna be praying or I'm gonna be sitting my ass down somewhere so I don't get shot. Cause these folks in my neighborhood and the surrounding neighborhood, they love them damn firecrackers. They look like they need to be out there for showstoppers. You know when you at a big event or. They shoot not they real pistols. And I ain't got time to get laid out. You know what I'm saying? Nothing on foolishness. And I know they're going to start that shit again tonight. Oh, I just hate it. New Year's Eve and 4th of July. I hate it, hate it, hate it. And Memorial Day too. They're like, they ain't got nothing else better to do. But anyway, that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article. It went on to say, if you look behind me, you'll see Ryan Seacrest's group of losers performing. The 53-year-old Real Housewives of Atlanta producer said I'm sorry but if you're watching ABC you're watching nothing oh that's what he said y'all that was in quotation marks uh, Mars meaning he quoted that that was his true statement I'm like what the hell going on with Andy Cohen why he picking up all these artists that's trying to come out here and make a dollar so they can stay in the lack of luxury or lack there of a luxury that they're used to you know what I'm saying maybe it could just be food shelves and clothing that they're needing and they're using their artistic abilities to do so and he's trying to infraternize on that now I hope he don't try to have a shot to Ja Rule that uh what's his name uh Arnell Piedia uh, I hope he ain't trying to have them show up at his doorstep to save his little crash and burning show or watch what's happened live. Okay? I hope he don't need them in the near future. And damn show sure one need Journey. You remember Journey? I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. I've been waiting. Because I used to get them and Foreigner uh, kind of mixed up. You know? So, a foolish heart. He's my one. Stop this fun. You stop calling. Foolish huh? Y'all remember that song. And hell, I might got Journey and Foreigner mixed up. I don't know. They were some smashing groups at the time. I liked some of their music. Don't get me wrong, okay? Ah, <sighs> but anyway, I told you I ain't a racist person over here. I get on anybody. I don't care what creed, color, or uh, nationality you are. If you're living foul and I find that it's foul and you're trying to display something else, I will call you out. Okay, just like y'all do me. All right, but that's another here. Now, they're going back to the, um, the article. It said ABC's broadcast included performances by Journey, and Ashanti, and Ja Rule in Times Square. Okay, doing another segment, Com- Cohen made it clear he wasn't impressed by Arnel uh, Pe- Peita uh, leading the rock band. I'm guessing he was uh, leading Journey into a few of their songs or something. I, I have no idea because, like I said, I didn't watch it, okay? Maybe y'all can Google it and tell me what was going on. But he goes on to say, we were doused with confetti from Fake Journey on ABC. If it's not Steve Perry, it doesn't count. You get it? It's not journey, he declared. It's propaganda, it's propaganda. It's not journey, it's not journey. No, that was not journey. Steve Perry is journey. So I'm guessing maybe they had journey, but Steve Perry couldn't come out and do his thing. So um, Arnell had filled in for him or something. And uh, Ryan Seacrest just wasn't hearing it. I guess you could not have Elvis uh up there but well not when i use l but let's just say jo- howling oaks you couldn't have howl up there without oaks you know what i'm saying if you put somebody else in now like fantasia trying to do something he of course said that was impressive but we still need howl and oaks you know what i'm saying i don't know he was just stuck on stupid last night evidently and they could not get the the uh vinyl record off that 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 thing he kept saying not journey not journey not journey i was like what the hell going on with Andy Cohen? He must be going through a midlife crisis. I am one to believe that's what he's going through. Because just to be attacking folks when they're out there trying to perform for the millions or how many people that were at Times Square at the time or not at Times Square. But they were just, you know, what do you call it, um, tuning in from their TV sets at home. 
How dare Andy Cohen get on there and make a rant or rave because he's in a drunken stupor? I mean, come on. Wasn't he supposed to be sick anyway? Wasn't he supposed to be on cor- quarantine? Did he catch, re-catch COVID? I'm like, what the hell is going on with him? He's out there having hot titus and trying to cure his uh, ailments and get on folks at the same damn time. What's wrong with Andy? Oh, somebody get in the comments and tell me what's wrong with that man. Uh, but then it goes on to say, Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper, BFF moments. Social media users were quick to weigh in on Cohen's antics. Uh, Andy Cohen calling Ryan Seacrest a loser might be the funniest thing I've seen on television this year, one person tweeted. Another fan wrote, Andy Cohen calling Ryan Seacrest live and wasted on national tv a loser already won 2022 cnn new york eve okay andy Cohen last night talking trash about abc's ryan secrets and fake journey is about the most punk rock thing at cnn has ever done new york eve 2022 a third person tweeted a fourth viewer added cnn made the decision a long time ago that drunk anderson cooper and andy cohen and don lemon was far more entertaining to people than ryan secrets and company okay whoa before he signed off for the night cohen made waves again for calling out new york city mayor bill de blasio watching mayor de blasio do his victory lap dance after four years of the crappiest term as the mayor of new york the only thing that democrats and Republicans can agree on is what a horrible mayor he has been, he yelled, as Cooper tried to cut his rent off. So, Saranara, sucker, 2020, it's a new year because guess what? I have a feeling I'm going to be standing right here next year, and you know who I am not going to be looking at dancing as the city comes apart. You. And I was like, now wait a minute, flag on play, flag on play. If again, in fact, Anderson Cooper cared anything about Andy Cohen. He would have not let him make that statement. If anything, he would have said cut his mic. He probably would have took the mic from him and told sit your ass down. Okay? Because we got to live in this city. All right? We got we to gotta do what it make it do. New York ain't going out like that. And you even tear down New York. Especially on the uh, going out of 2021. Sit your ass down somewhere. We want to do a commercial or something. All right. Or he would have did something better. Hell, he could have just started talking about the artists that performed. They were so lovely. They were so wonderful. And Journey got off, you know what I'm saying, with the help of Arnell. He could have did, made a little spin like that. But no, nah, he just went on, wanted that salacious story, wanted to make a fool out of Andy Cohen. If Andy Cohen really think that Anderson Cooper really like him, who let me sell you some property in Atlanta, okay? Way, way out on the skirts of Atlanta, okay? Uh, but anyway, that was just my pun intended. Going back to the article, it said, While the Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen host hasn't directly commented on his headline making moments, he did tweet that he was a bit overserved last night. Uh-uh, we ain't giving you no pass, Andy. We ain't giving you no pass on your ass. No, you said what you said and you meant it. I need he said, I said what I said. And we're going to hold it to you going into 2022 because this is going to be my staple. Every time I hear you trying to get on anybody of the housewives, franchise, try to dirty to them, this, that, and the third. And they be having a little look. I'm like, ooh, that's going back. That's going way back when. When we were looking at you on December 31st on 2021. Rocking Eve, Dick Clark Special. Uh-huh. Yeah, you and Anderson Cooper were sitting there float trying to uh, say something about the appearances. But he wasn't saying too much. You were showing your ass and you said a whole hell of a lot of stuff. Yeah, Andy, your midlife crisis, shake a booty, going down the drain toilet, along with your show, along with you, and your notoriety. Yeah, we're going to always remember that, man. Whoo, and you're talking about Nene Lease. You need to go away and don't come back. I'm telling you, your midlife crisis, they taking your show. You're looking bad out in these streets. You're thinking that Salt Lake City is going to uh, hold you up. And then that Dubai show that's supposed to be coming in, coming in. Man, and we know, those that know. What goes on in Dubai and these rich, famous people like Beyonce, Jay Z, uh, the presidents, all of them have to go over there to serve their time, do they deal, deal, and then come back and think, hey, you know, everything's cool and fancy. We know what y'all be doing over there. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, we gets down. We know what the real tea is over there and what you're doing. Okay, but that just is what it is for those who know, speculate, even investigate. 
all right but that's all i got y'all i had to just go on and just show out on andy's behind he was just pure trash last night he might have been wasted but like i said a drunk fool tells no tales all right they don't they tell the truth all right so y'all be blessed i will see y'all next video talk to you soon pieces